Hello festival goers of the internet. I'm the Festival Finesser and in today's video we're going to be talking about a festival I have never spoken about on the channel before but I probably should have because it is one of the biggest festivals that happens on the East Coast if not the biggest festival that happens on the East Coast and that is EDC Orlando. As you guys can see from my shirt I have been to EDC before when it was in New York. I went in 2014, 2015, 2016 for when the shirt is from and then in 2016 they were like hey no more EDC New York and I was like damn. So I went to EDC Vegas the next year in 2017 and I brought my camera with me. I should have brought my camera with me to every festival I went to. Went to Long right after that and now we're here so in this video we're gonna be looking at the lineup talking about my favorite artist talking about you know EDC and just the whole insomniac you know kind of vibes that the festival has to offer and also why this festival has become on my radar and why I haven't been talking about it because I never thought I'd be able to go but this year we're probably going so keep a lot enjoy the intro and I will see you guys for the review Can I get a year? Festival Finesse. Finesse gang, can I get a year? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And for those of you who are new here and do not know me, I'm the Festival Finesse. This is my channel, a channel that revolves around music festivals and live music going experiences with a focus and concentration on dubstep and rhythm. If you're not following me at a festival day by day, you're probably following me at a show in New York, Philadelphia, Maryland, Virginia, Delaware, basically anywhere I go, you guys are coming with me. And if you're not following me at a festival or a show, you're probably sitting with me here at this desk getting life hacks, trick tips, festival reviews, lineup reviews, EDM news, controversial debates, and any other words of advice I can give to you guys to make sure you can have the best festival going experience possible. So, today we are talking about one of the best festival organizations in the industry right now, and that is Insomniac doing EDC, the festival that pretty much changed my life and got me into EDM. I went to EDC New York as soon as I was able to go when I turned 18 and I was learning about the rave scene and EDM and fucking Tiesto and Hardwell and Afrojack and all those dudes and some of those guys are actually on this lab which is fucking so sick. EDC definitely holds a special place in my heart because it is the first festival I ever attended. Even though it was in New York, the whole concept of EDC and, you know, the Electric Days of Carnival and, you know, turning a parking lot into a euphoric environment of magic and lights and positivity, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of the craziest things that is that EDC is always in a giant parking lot in the, on the concrete. It's never in the grass, in the fields, but it's still, it never feels like you're in a parking lot. It feels like you're in a whole other universe. So that's the, you know, they really turn it into a carnival. So before I get into the lineup, guys, I do want to tell you how this review kind of came about because it is an interesting story and this is kind of an interesting review and like video overall. So basically someone hit me up and was like, yo, Insomniac is looking for content creators. You should submit an application. And I was like, you know what? I will, even though I'm like this little fucking pebble to all these other people in the EDM industry and whatever. And especially Insomniac, they are the fucking top dogs that are doing it, like I said. So I actually got an email back and I was like, holy fuck. And so I followed up and basically became an affiliate um, with Insomniac and I have my own ticket link which you guys can check out in the description below You know the more tickets I sell the more likely I'm able to go if I can you know afford a plane ticket and stuff like that at that time but I did want to make this video to hype up the event and share some of my favorite artists and talk about the festival and get you guys prepared a little bit, know what to expect. So hopefully I am able to attend if I can work it out on my schedule and I am able to earn a complimentary ticket. Maybe I can do some media things and, you know, be a two for one special or something like that. Do the vlogging, the camera. I got my actual Sony now so I can maybe get into the photo pit. I don't even know how all that works, but I'd be more than happy to bring my GoPro and do a vlog if I was able to go at a reasonable cost. Now that you have all the backstory, let's get into why you're probably actually here to talk about this lineup. So, EDC Orlando 2021 is going down November 12th, 13th, and 14th in Tinker Field. It is one of the later festivals to happen in the season, and might also be the earliest festival in the season, depending when you consider your season to be over, if it ever ends, because I know for some of you guys, it probably doesn't. So, there are over 100 artists on here, so I'm not going to name all of them. I'm just going to go through real quick, highlight the ones that catch my attention, maybe give them a quick genre, description, and then keep it moving. A lot of these artists I'm probably not going to know, so I'm not going to say them, or I might just brush over them quickly. So, let's see if we can do this as fast as possible. So, kicking off, we have AC Slater for the house people. A Craze I'm not familiar with. We see Afrojack back-to-back -back Rehab, which is a big one for, like, you know, the OGs, honestly. Someone like myself, those, that's, like, my era of music where I started listening. Those two dudes were killing it, and they probably still are killing it. I just have listened to them in a minute. And then we have Alan Walker for the house people. Um, Arvin Van Buren, AT Aliens for the dubstep and like heavy trap weird people. They, they, I fucking love AT Aliens honestly. They've been killing it and like I've been sleeping on them. 
And then we have Burnzekiel, I think is how you say it. And I actually got one of his songs off of the Subsidiary release, and it is fucking heavy as fuck. And, like, I, like... Definitely check him out if you like heavy shit, bro, because I was very impressed. And then we have Blunts and Blondes, who is definitely kind of more of a chill, wonky kind of vibe, but can get heavy here and there. Um, and then we have Cash Cash, who are kind of some OGs, like House, Progressive House. Kind of reminds me of, like, Galantis. Um, let's see who else do we have here. Dabin, that melodic dubstep. Diesel, Shaq, I think that's who that is. Uh, maybe, I don't know, if he took away the DJ, usually it's DJ Diesel, but it might just be Diesel, I don't even know. Um, but let's see, who else do we have here that is catching my attention? Dombreski for the house people, one of my favorite. When I was listening to house, he was one of my favorites. Still is, just has a little spot down here for Dombreski. Also, Dom Dalla is a big one too. Easy Baked, that Wakan kind of vibe, that weird, uh, just experimental kind of bass. Ikali kind of has a little bit of everything. He kind of reminds me of kind of more like melodic, kind of like euphoric stuff. But I also have seen him throw down some heavy stuff as well. Maybe kind of like an Elenium vibe. Elefante is a really good house producer. Um, Excision, that's a fucking big one. Probably one of the headliners, I would assume. I don't even know. They have no headliner, which is so fucking cool. That's one of the view. The headliner at EDC is you. You're the headliner. They, they, it's like it's all possible because of you. And uh, we're, like, we're the most important people, the audience. I always say without an audience, there is no show. And so therefore, you guys are the headliners. We're the headliners. Let's see who else catches my attention here. G. Jones, you don't get a lot of him, honestly, so that's just going to be real weird and trippy and very different if you've never seen him. And then we have Galantis, very euphoric, upbeat, good energy, positivity. I don't even know what you would call them if they're like house, progressive house, fucking electro house. Um, I'm not really sure, honestly, but there are some OGs for sure. And then we have Green Velvet presents La La Land, which I have no idea what that is, but Green Velvet is an OG house producer, so... It's probably going to be some fucking cool-ass house set. I don't even know, honestly. Let's see. Let's see. Jaws. OG for me. A lot of house. Nowadays, we used to be a big dubstep dude. Joyride, also very bouncy, bass house kind of stuff. Cascade. Everyone kind of knows Cascade. That just positivity, kind of like progressive, uplifting, just feel-good kind of music. Then we have Keizo, who is a very unique producer and DJ. He incorporates a lot of music into his sets. It's usually very bouncy and kind of heavy. Has a little bit of like hard style influence. Also a lot of like metal, rock and roll influence. Very sick. One of my favorites. Always a fucking good time and a good show. Let's see, we have Kashmir, which was one of those, like, OG house producers from back in my day. Um, we have a Kygo Sunset set, um, which is going to be very relaxing and kind of more melodic vibes, I would imagine. Um, then we have the fucking girl Lays, bro. Again, I forgot, bro. She has been fucking killing it. Fucking EDC Orlando, bro. I'm probably going to see you out there, Lays, I would hope. Always bringing the heavy shit. And then right next to Lays, we have Liquid Stranger. And that's just, like, so crazy to see Lays. Like, someone that I know who came up to me and was like, yo, you're the festival finesse. She came up to me, and I was like, what the fuck? And now she's got her name next to Liquid Stranger on fucking EDC Orlando. Like, what the fuck? Go you, Lay. Um, so Liquid Stranger, obviously, fucking OG legend, fucking pioneer, the owner of Wakan, heavy, weird. That's all I gotta know. Bass. Let's see who else we have. There, Louis the Child or Louis the Child. Can someone tell me which one it is? Because I don't know. As you can tell, I'm not too familiar with the music. I've seen him around at festivals and stuff like that. I know he's very popular. I know he's kind of got uh, more of like a chill, uplifting, kind of like melodic vibe. Very just kind of vibey and, uh, you know, kind of spiritual almost in a sense, I feel like. And then we have an LP Giabi set. He's been buzzing a lot too for the house people. Um, that's also a sunset set. And then we have Lucy, you know, she has that kind of like weird alien brand, so her music is kind of spacey, and that's kind of what I imagine. She, she, I've seen her a couple times, she does throw down, but um, I don't remember too vividly to kind of, you know, put a label on it, you know? And then we have Marcus Scholl's house, he's been around for a minute. Um, let's see who else we got on here that is sticking out to me. Nightmare back to back sudden death. What the fuck? That is crazy. That is fucking crazy. That is so unique, bro. I would never think of that back to back in a million years because Nightmare has the good vibration shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that good, that good energy. And Nightmare is like satanic. I'm not saying he is, but that's what everyone says. It's demonic. It's dark. It's scary. And that's very kind of conflicting, but that's also really fucking cool. Um... That's probably the highlight for me that I've seen so far, besides Lay's. <laughs> Honestly, that's fucking so cool. I can't get over that. Let's keep going here. Noizu, fucking killing it. He is very popular in the house scene. Plasma has been buzzing. He has a really cool song with Freaky. It's called Murder. 
and the part two is my fucking favorite. That second drop goes so hard. <laughs> Big up to Plasma, Set the Sky for those melodic peoples, and then we have Say My Name for the Terror Hard Trap, that just like screechy, you know what I'm talking about? If you know that Say My Name, so you know what I'm talking about, it's just that hard terror trap, screechy, yeah, hard as fuck, heavy as fuck, mosh pit kind of stuff. And then we have Seven Lines, who gives you a little bit of everything, some side trance, some melodic, some dubstep maybe, very popular artist, and a very talented musician. Subtronics. Cyclops Army in the building. Don't gotta say much about him. He's fucking been killing it. Chami Sunset Set. So yeah, I'm pretty sure EDC. How many stages does it have? I gotta I gotta know now. I think there's four. We have Kinetic Field, Circuit Grounds, Neon Garden, Stereo Bloom, and the Art Cart. So there are one, two, three, four main stages and the Art Cart. I'm pretty sure EDC Vegas has like seven or eight. Like that shit is huge. But yeah, back to the lineup. Sorry about that, guys. Just wanted to slide some information right there. Also, more fun facts. The festival goes from 1 p.m. to midnight. You're welcome. Back to the lineup review now. Tiesto, another OG pioneer. One of the people that kind of was, you know, killing it and, you know, headlining when I was playing and probably will still be headlining. I don't even know, honestly, man, because, like, I don't even know. Yeah, he's just such a legend. Um, and then we have Timmy Trumpet, who is, again, from my era of when I got into EDM. He fucking plays the trumpet live, kind of like how uh, Grizz does, or like Josh T does the violin. Like, he kind of incorporates a like electrical trumpet, I guess, or like a, a, an amplified trumpet into his sets and plays over his, like, you know, he has a lot of like, trumpet-themed songs and stuff like that. You guys will see if you see him or know his music. It's very clear and apparent. Um, so we're getting to the bottom here, guys. Um, 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 and there's not too many people I'm seeing. Wednesday, back to back, Nostalgics. And then we have Whipped Cream, who plays a little bit of everything. And um, Zed, everyone kind of knows Zed. So those are the artists that stick out to me. And now I'm going to just do a quick glance and just go through it real quick and highlight my ultimate favorites that I would want to see. And if you like bass, you should probably think about checking it out as well. All right, here we go. AT Aliens, Burn Zekiel, Blunts and Blondes, fuck it, I'm putting DJ Diesel in that mix. Excision, obviously, G Jones. I put Jaws on my list, I fuck with Jaws, even though he's more house. Joyride as well, I really fuck with the Joyride house sound. Kazo for sure. Lays, of course, Liquid Stranger. Lucy, I'll throw in the mix. Plasma, say my name. Seven Lions, I'll throw in the mix just because like, you never know what you're gonna get with him. I'm throwing Chami in there too, because I fucking love Chami. And, um,. Nightmare Back to Back Sudden Death is definitely the best act on this lineup, in my opinion. Like, the most unique, like, the craziest back-to-back, -back, that's going to be the set to not miss, in my opinion. That is really it. So, when you really break it down like that, there's not too much dubstep. But, again, this is one of those festivals that kind of has a little bit more to offer, and Somniac always goes above and beyond. They got performers, they got power, they got fireworks, they got the whole nine and more. So, you know, that's why I'm down to go because it's going to be fucking lit no matter who is playing they always, the edc is one of those festivals doesn't matter who's playing it's going to be fucking amazing no matter what so i'm definitely trying to go again if you guys need tickets you can click the link in my bio and if you get a ticket through me you will maybe save some money i don't even know if it's a discounted ticket but you are going to help me and my chances of going and doing the vlog for myself and to experience and others to experience through the music so thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope it wasn't too long if it was i'm sorry but that's what happens when there's live with 100 plus artists so thank you guys again i hope to see you guys at edc if i'm able to make it myself i know it's a while away but you can never get prepared too early so i'll see you guys for the next one i love y'all peace hey.